Good morning, happy Tuesday. It is our wedding anniversary today. So we've already exchanged cards and presents. And we are sat down having breakfast. I think it's just after eight o'clock, quarter past eight maybe. So I've got some of the bacon, a tin of beans, which I brought from home, and an egg with a bit of tomato sauce, a coffee and an apple. And Andrew's had porridge. Yum, yum. 14 years. Good morning. It is now quarter past nine on our 14th wedding anniversary. We got married at half past four, did we, I think? Late afternoon anyway. Um, but today, um, first of all, I'd like to say that the internet is quite slow here. So I'm having trouble um, keeping in, in touch with Facebook and Instagram and the YouTube comments. Uh, if I don't manage to catch them all while I'm here, I'll catch up with them when I'm at home. I'm going to try and keep the videos a little bit shorter, just so they don't take as long to upload. Because I think yesterday's was about 20 minutes and it took about two and a half hours or more to upload. Um, but anyway, so today we are going to Lodo Falls, which is above Derwent Water. Hopefully we are anyway, if we can get parked. Um, it's a four and a quarter mile walk. Um, it says, starting high above Derwent Water with magnificent views across the water, the walk slowly drops to the lake shore for a gentle stroll before making a detour to the Lodo Falls. The only significant climb of the day comes after a short section of road walking. This leads into Oak Woods beside Watend Lath Beck. The return along a quiet lane features a surprise view. So I'll turn you around and show you the walking book. So the walking book we're using today is this Lake District Walks to Waterfalls book. Uh, we got this from Booz two or three years ago. And this is the walk here. Bit of a spoiler for what the waterfalls might look like. And there's the outline of the walk. So we'll see how we get on and catch you when we get there. It's about half ten, quarter to eleven, and we have arrived at Ashness Bridge. We've had a bit of a climb to get up to where we need to be, and we still haven't quite found the car park where we were supposed to park, but I don't think it's far. But we have found the famous Ashness Bridge before we found the car park, so I'll turn you around and show you. We haven't actually started properly walking yet, but we're having fun anyway. And it is a nice day now, it's warming up nicely. Yeah, look. There's Ashness Bridge in the sunshine. And a lovely stream running down towards it. I hope you can see because the sun's shining right on the stream. And you're taking photographs. Two more border, border terriers down there that we might go and say hello to in a second. Here's Charlie, look, raring to go. Look at that. Right, it's ten past eleven. And we are ready, finally, to start our walk. We've visited Ashness Bridge, haven't we? Oh, it's amazing. It's lovely there. There's a lot of people around that particular spot, though. I tell you, it's very famous, is that, in the Lake District, and it's probably one of the most photographed places here, so there's always somebody in way. And we are mm. just about to start our proper four and a quarter mile walk, and I'll show you where we start. So we're starting up on the moors, walking through Great Wood. There's Derwent Water over there. Back down there, which you can't really see, is back towards Ashness Bridge. There went water and we'll climb up here and eventually we'll be able to see Skiddo and Catbells, which I think are right over there through the trees. But hopefully I'll be able to show you them eventually. And just like that, in two minutes of walking, you turn a corner or go through a gate and you get the most beautiful views. So over there will be Skidor and Catbells. This is Derwent Water. And we've got a choice. We need to look at the book where we need to go. Either up for a steep climb or straight on. I think it's straight on. Up into the hills. 
We barely got going and it's probably nearly coffee time, but we'll keep going for a little bit longer and see if we can find somewhere nice to sit. Might as well enjoy a nice day, as we've heard it isn't going to be such a nice day tomorrow. But look at that. I thought I'd tell you this tale with the backdrop of uh, Derwent Water behind us. What's just happened? I had to stop Debbie rolling down hill into the lake. <laughs> I just slipped and fell full length and nearly rolled down the hill. I wasn't injured. It just took a while to get back up and I've got a wet bum now. And look at the beautiful views behind us. <laughs> I know I've said I won't take as many clips to make them shorter videos, but I just can't help it. I mean, we've not even been walking half an hour. They're just beautiful views over Derwent water. Lovely with the sun shining on it as well. I'm afraid whenever, you st whenever we stop, you're probably going to hear the whining because he just wants to carry on walking. Come on then, my intrepid explorers. So we walked a little bit further, still on the shores of Derwent, and we're just going to have five minutes for a coffee and a banana. I've got a flask of coffee. And we're going to enjoy the view. I just thought I'd show you before we turn, turn downhill that this is Falcon Crag. Not Falcon's Crag. Just a minute, let me get a bit higher so you can see this one. And there. And of course, always overlooking Derwent Water. So I think we're soon enough when we find the path we'll be heading down towards there. So we came down from the path through the woods and up in the cliffs down to the shores of Derwent and I think a lot of the walk will be by these shores so I've no doubt that there'll be plenty of footage. And it's a beautiful day as well. So there's the crag what we've come down from, down to the shore where I just showed you, walked along the lake shore and soon we'll be moving on to a different area. I'm sure we'll still have views of Derwent but just look at it, sun shining on the water, boats out, mountains in the distance where we've been climbing. And he wanted a drink. So we have found our picnic spot before we finally walk slightly away from the shores of Derwent Water. We've got some kayakers or something to watch while we eat. I've got some curry loaf and salad, a couple of hi-fi bars, some fruit in my bag and a Coke, can of Coke somewhere. We've got Charlie. What are you thinking so far? Beautiful day, beautiful views. Beautiful walk. Yeah. So we're going to enjoy our lunch now. One last view. We've eaten our dinner. It's about half past one. And one last view from the shores. I can't promise it's the last time we're going to see Derwent Water, but it's probably the last time we're going to be quite so close. Can you believe it? Right up there from Speedo. Yeah. We've been up there to, the, to that middle mountain, that Skiddo been up there near the crags 
We've done there went a few times, haven't we? Right, time to carry on. Tell us where we're walking, young Mr. Andrew. Where we're we walking? Yes. We're walking down that path in front of you, you can see. We're walking through a wood. A wood. Very approaching the Lodor Falls, which we hope to find and show you in good time. But yes, just a bit of a nice woodland walk just now. And here we are at Lodor Falls. I'm going to go a bit closer, but I'll probably cut the film and start again in a minute before I try to climb down there. So here's the long view from the bench. And here we are a little bit closer. It starts right up there. There you go, there you are zoomed in a little bit. And I'll zoom you out again. And then you've got... So we you can see it's still a bit dry around here. There you go. There is Lodo Falls. We are back in the woods, making our way back from Lodo. Climbing a bit, so we're taking a breather, and hopefully, we'll find a little bench somewhere along the way or a surprise view coming up. Well, it's three o'clock and we have got a tale to tell you. We are still in the woods where I did the last clip. We totally missed a very small turning and we've done about a mile. Uh, are you sure it's not 10? Detour and it's very hilly, rocky, climby, ground. During that time, I dropped my phone, or lost my phone, and had to go back and find it again. So that was even longer detour. And then we've finally come back and found the right path. And the bench that was so often mentioned in this book. Oh, and there's not even a nice view from this bench. The view down to the lake is completely blocked off by foliage. But with that desperate for a drink that we've stopped, I obviously did find my phone again. I can't remember if I quite concluded the story. But this is why I'm not vlogging much on this path. It's very uneven terrain. Needs both hands to climb. But hopefully, hopefully we're almost there after wandering in these woods for probably about 40 minutes. It's now quarter to four. And I think here, just round the corner, we're going to get one of the views we've been waiting for. There we go. Back over there went water, just like I said. It's taken some, some to get here. Some work, including going the wrong way. There will be better views later on on the way back, so I'll share them with you. Still climbing. It's taking some grit to get up here. Oh, absolutely knackered. Four and a half miles feels like 40 miles. Here's another reward. This is what end last waterfall. Bit of a surprise as we weren't quite expecting this. But look at how beautiful it is. And you can see it much better than Lodor, Lodor Falls. And it's a bit quiet around here as well. Look at that. Listen to the, listen to the water. I think we've still got quite another, at least a mile or so to go, but we'll keep going. We 
we have found more water. This is Watt End Lath Beck. Charlie's just had a drink and a, and a paddle. Sorry, the sun's shining into the camera. There's the little footbridge we've just crossed. Andrew taking some arty pictures. I'm sure they'll all be on Instagram and Facebook later on tonight. How oh, lovely. It's taken some walking to get here. We've got about a kilometre to go. That's it. Go on. It's now Wednesday. And we're still walking. We're just walking through some woods, making our way back to a minor road, which will apparently take us back to the car park. But it's not the car park because we have to walk a little bit further to where we actually parked. But it's a lovely dappled, sun dappled footpath through the woods and at least it's easier walking. Oh, what a walk. It's now nearly quarter to five or so but we'll give you another time check. Well, how are you feeling? Knackered. Knackered. We'll be back in a bit. Are you ready for this? This is surprise view. Are you ready? Wow, look at that. Shall I read you what it says in the book? Or do you want a few quiet minutes to appreciate it? A flawless panorama which embraces Catbells, Maiden Moor, Skiddaw, Derwent Water and even Bassenthwaite Lake. Do you remember, if you've watched my videos before, at the top of Skiddaw, looking down on Bassenthwaite to one end and Derwent on the other? So you can see it right from the edge of Derwent now. Absolutely beautiful. And that is more or less the end of our walk. So we will see you at home. I do hope you've enjoyed this vlog. So it is now 6.30 and we're getting to the end of this vlog. I will just show you my evening meal. Andrew is still cooking his steak and potatoes behind me. But this is the advantage of bringing some batch cooking. Mine can be ready in minutes. Uh, I've got my bassa fish curry um, with chopped tin tomatoes and yoghurt in there. And the lovely bassa fish. Some boiled white rice and the pepper stir fry from Booze. And then I've got one of the um, quark yogurts with chocolate bits and some strawberries with a sugar free orange. And that is the end of today. See you next time. <laughs>